Here's some basics about the 7965 phone for administrators. The upper right hand corner will show you the number of your phone, in this case the extension is 309, and the person's last and first initial is on this phone. It will also show you the main number of your school district, the date and time. To make a call, you either pick up the handset, you will hear dial tone in the handset, and you can actually make a call by dialing the digits, and the call will go through. Internal calls are four digits. To get an outside line, you dial the eighth button. Okay? You can also just dial the number. In this case, I dial my cell phone. I hit dial. The call will automatically go on speakerphone, and the call will go out. So you dial an eight to get an outbound call, outside call. You can call 911 by dialing 911, or you can call 911 by dialing 8911. You can also make a call by going on speaker, there's your dial tone, dial your digits. To receive a call, it's the process in reverse. You can pick up the handset, you can hit the speaker button, okay, or you can hit the answer key. Answer. To complete a transfer and a conference on the 7965 phone is slightly different. There are soft keys involved. In this case, I'm going to receive a call on one of these phones. I'm going to answer the phone by answering, picking up the handset, hitting the speaker button, or hitting the answer key. In this case, I'm going to pick up the handset to simulate I've answered the call. Now to transfer the call, I would hit the transfer key. I hit the transfer key and I will hear a secondary dial tone. There's your secondary dial tone. I call the number of the person I want to transfer to, in this case it's 3137. They will then answer the phone and I've taken off the handset to simulate me answering the call. At that point I hit the transfer button a second time. And now the call is gone from this phone but it's now going on between these two phones. One here and then one that's off camera. At this point, I've transferred the call. So all you do is receive the call, hit the transfer soft key, dial the person, after you hear the secondary dial tone, the other person picks up, then you hit the transfer button again. Now conference is similar. I receive a call. Okay, I then hit the more key and then the conference key. I will hear a secondary dial tone. There's your secondary dial tone. I dial 3137, the next number. They answer. I then hit the conference key to conference all three of these calls together. And now we're all on the phone at the same time, and that is the conference. So similar to a transfer call, you hit the conference button twice. Be on the phone, hit the conference soft key once, hear secondary dial, dial the party that you want to conference in, Hit the conference button again, and then everybody's conferenced in on the phone at the same time. If you've received a call that you missed, and the phone will say, Missed Calls, in this case, or Missed a Call, see what it shows you. I'm not going to answer it. Okay, let this time out for a minute. It will say Missed Calls here in a second. Next, I want to show the directories button. The directories allows you to see your missed calls, your received calls, your placed calls in your corporate directory. Your corporate directory can search in anybody on the Cuba Rusford phone system. You can also look at the calls that you received to this phone. And if you want to call the person back, you can just go ahead and hit the dial key and the person will be called back. You can also check on missed calls and you can see if any phones have been uh, missed to this particular phone. To adjust the ringer on this phone, you would hit the volume button, which is located over here on the right. You can arrow that up or arrow that down, and the volume for the ringer will go up and down. The same rules apply if I have this off hook. This volume will also adjust the handset volume so I can turn up or turn down someone that I'm talking to. Once you've get, got the volume to where you want it, go ahead and hit save, and those save settings will be saved. To check voicemail on the 7965 phone, you hit the messages button, which is located here. Once I hit the messages button, it's going to ask me for my PIN, so you put in your PIN. 
Now, if you want to check voicemail from another vo uh, phone in the system, you would go to any phone in the district, hit the messages button, and then hit star. Enter your ID, followed by pound. It will ask for your ID, which is your four-digit number, and then you put in your pound key, and then after that, it's going to ask for your PIN. You put in your PIN, and then you'll be on your way to checking voicemail from your another entry. phone. Enter your ID. To hold a call from a 7965 phone, we take a call, answer it, and put it on mute so it doesn't feed back, and you hit the hold key, which is located here. Hold. The other person will hear music in most cases. And then to resume the call, you know it's being held because you see the orange blinking hold button. And then to resume the call, you hit the resume button, which is under the hold. And it says the call is being held, or hold. So I hit resume, and now the call is resumed. The 7965 phones of Cuba Rushford have a unique feature. They have a voice dial button listed on the phone display. If you hit that button, you can then say by name anybody in the Cuba Rushford Central School District. So if you don't know someone's extension, hit this button and then we'll then be able to speak to the phone system to tell it who you want to call.